Hi Julian, Steve Brightman from SDR Play here. And today I'm pleased to give you a demonstration of progress we've made on the development of our next software platform, SDR Connect. So without further ado, the first demo we have running here is showing SDR Connect. It's running on a Mac Mini. It's uh, based on Apple Silicon. It's an M1 Mac Mini. So we're delivering on our promise of having something that works on the Mac. In this particular case, in addition to multi-platform, we promised that we would have networking capability. So indeed, what we're doing here is we're connected to my colleague John Hudson's uh, RSPDX, which is in the UK, and he's got it connected to a Raspberry Pi server. So we're actually looking to see what's happening uh, on the 20 meter band in the UK on here. Uh, alternatively, if I shut that down, I could just show you, and I don't have good signals, but we have an RSP Duo here on the table, and uh, that's what we're connected to here. We just recently added full support for the RSP Duo. I don't have any antennas hooked up, so you're not gonna see much signal, but I can demonstrate that if we want to do diversity tuning, there's a little button for that. And once that's done, we can go over here and we have the option of, let me turn that sound down. We can click on the diversity tab and we have the little tuning circles just like we had in SDR Uno. So we now have full support of the RSP Duo diversity mode. Alternatively, we can run it in dual tuner mode and as soon as we collect, uh, select RSP Duo D for dual tuner, we get two virtual receivers opened up. Let's go down a little bit. One, one for each tuner. So this is much easier to implement than it is in Uno where you need a second instance of the program. Uh, moving along, we have a Raspberry Pi. This is a Pi 400. And the Pi 400 is actually hooked up to the RSP2. And as you're probably aware, the RSP2 is now an obsolete product but just because we're not making them anymore doesn't mean that we don't want to continue to support them with our software. So here on the Raspberry Pi, we're running SDR Connect, but this time we're running it as a server. And here we can see the RSP2 output um, shown on the Mac. And we have full control over the RSP2, so we can select the A, B, or the high Z port, for example. And uh, there's not much going on on that device right now. But that shows you the server capability running on the Pi. Alternatively, we could just run it in client mode and just see the output of the Pi directly on here. Moving across further, yes, it works on Windows as well. This is a very low spec uh, Windows machine I made for portable use. It all runs off 12 volts. It has an Atom Core CPU. It's one of those little mini PC things. Uh, you can see it on the back. You'll see there's a mini PC and an RSP1A, and the whole thing is a single 12 volt operation. Um, what I'm actually doing on this machine is again, I'm using it to connect to a remote server. In this case, the remote server is an Intel based Mac Mini, a 2012 Mac Mini, so nothing new and fancy. Uh, that's located at my home in Colorado Springs, and what we're looking at here is the FM broadcast band. Um, being displayed on a Windows PC remotely connected to an Intel Mac. Um, moving on, we have another Windows set up here. This is normally where I'm showing um, Windows uh, connected as a pan adapter to the Kenwood rig. SDR Uno will still be supported for all our products even when Connect comes out. And for those of you that want to try Connect when it comes out, we have another party trick in that in spite of the fact the uh, whoops excuse me in spite of the fact the API was totally rewritten you can have SDR connect running on the same Windows PC as SDR Uno so when you start up the software you just uh, select your RSP and away you go and we think that will uh, encourage people to try SDR connect when it comes out and they will still be able to use all the features in SDR Uno while they're evaluating the new features we keep adding to uh, SDR Connect. Again, the important thing is when Connect comes out, which we hope is gonna be very soon, um, we won't release it until all the features mentioned on our website have been implemented. And to the best of our knowledge, all the bugs have been eliminated. 
Uh, when SDR Connect comes out, SDR Uno will continue to be supported. And uh, that way you get the best of both worlds. And that's about it. Thank you.